Welcome to today's Fluid Flow 3 design tutorial. Today we're going to look at performing unit conversions within the Fluid Flow 3 interface and the use of environments to predefine the default unit set. On screen we have a flow sheet depicting a pipeline transporting coal slurry from a storage tank through a 2 km pipeline to the dewatering plant. You can see on the flow sheet that some of our results are visible and we can also interrogate our results more fully on the data palette here. To change the units our results are reported in, we simply right click on the flow sheet to open up the options dialog. We can then select the results units option. Alternatively, we can use the F9 keyboard shortcut. Once the dialog is open, we can select our required units for each result type. In this case, I will change the flow to liters per second and our pressure drop to bar. Within the dialog box, you can also set the number of decimal places our results are reported in. Click OK to apply the selection, and we can see on the flow sheet that the results have updated and a unit of conversion is applied. It's important to note that recalculation is not required to do this operation. Predefined unit sets can be set using environments. Environments can be saved, and the user can quickly change between environments by using the drop down tool here. Again, recalculation is not required and units are converted accordingly. The user can save as many environments as required.